And uh, we're taking a look at uh, everything I've built. As you can tell, I've been doing some work, worked throughout the night. And um, we are really coming along with this build. Joy of joys, what is going on, geeks? I'm welcoming you back to Ark Survival Evolved. I was about to hop online, jump into a single-player world, and lament the end of this Let's Play series, and I figured I'd just have a quick peek online to see if the server, which uh, has been gone, just been disappeared from my server list for the last week, to see if it happened to reappear, and guess what? It did. I was worried I'd never get to show you guys this stuff. I did this in my last Ark Survival live stream. We started building the uh, the wall that is going to surround this giant mansion we're building atop this mountain and um, overlooking this cliff. And we are back. I honestly did not think I'd be back. And the server disappearing for a few days combined with um, the, the, the other YouTuber who I, I, I'm in a tribe with here, not not play, playing a whole lot of arc these days had me thinking that i should probably start looking for a whitelisted server one that is full of youtubers making youtube videos and uh that is still in my game plan but as long as this server is around uh and until i have a better place to play arc and a better group of people to play arc with i'm gonna be here and i'm gonna be playing how that doesn't work Oh god, this slopey ground is such a problem. Okay, well, I guess... Yep. Yeah, we are gonna start... Okay, well, I guess it's gonna have to be that shape. The foundation of the big build. And I'm gonna do it all in thatch. At, at least at the outset, we'll come... Whoops. Come through and replace some of this with uh, wood, with stone, and give it some real texture some real flavor like we did with our last big build the one way 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 down the uh the coast back at uh that kind of north would it would it be the northeast point of the map the island so we're gonna have to work with what we've got here where it doesn't seem like it's gonna work i'll figure out a method maybe we'll have ramps coming up here yeah that could work i definitely i don't know we'll we'll see i'm excited that this is back i honestly thought there was no way this series was coming back. That server disappeared, and it just disappeared with no sign, no warning, and I'm hoping it was just a minor downtime issue, or the issue was on my end. Um, but if it's back, we're going to be playing, and hopefully we're going to get back to ARC videos every couple of days uh, for the next little while. I really enjoy playing Minecraft, but not nearly as many of you guys are watching the Minecraft series as are watching this. Um, so... Uh, I, I, yeah, I was I was bummed if I was gonna have to take Ark off the channel at least for a little while. That forced hiatus of the server going down. I mean, that's the main reason I didn't play with the server in my first run uh, of the game. The main reason that I played solo. So that's one, two, and we got one. I think I got one left, right? Nope. I'm just gonna try and make this symmetrical to start, and we're gonna see what a shape like this will look like. Will you go there? Yeah, you won't go there. Yeah, okay. That's cool. Alright, well, why don't I... Yeah, maybe I'll break these ones entirely. The ones that aren't going to form a nice square build. Uh, we'll smash those up. And, guys, I hope you have been enjoying uh, your long weekend, if you got one. I know this is probably going to come out a few days after our... Uh, Easter long weekend, but uh, I, I definitely enjoyed my time off. I haven't had to work in days, which is exciting. Uh, I'm always happy about that. And um, I've really got to get into... Whoops. <laughs> really got to get into the worlds of, uh, of the video games I've been playing lately. I wish I could have spent some time in this world, but I spent some time around Hollow Grove, where I'm doing the Minecraft building uh, series. And... Uh, and just got to relax. I think yesterday I relaxed probably a little too much. I watched my uh, 
probably my favorite Indiana Jones movie. Um, now there's debate over which one's the best. Or, you know, everybody's got their own favorite. For me, it's The Last Crusade. You got Sean Connery. You don't have him in any of the other uh, Indiana Jones films, and I can't imagine there being a better X Factor. So if you get three Indiana Jones films and one of them has Sean Connery, that's the best one in my mind. You get James Bond. I mean, who is more iconic? Uh, you know, maybe just Harrison Ford, having played Han Solo in Indy. Nobody's more iconic in terms of the great characters they've played than Sean Connery. I could spend an hour doing Sean Connery movie lines. I won't. I won't, because I wouldn't want to put you guys through that, but I'm saying I could. Yeah, he's great, and uh, Last Crusade is a great film. Lots of twists, lots of turns. I think that's the first one I ever saw, if I remember. My uncle, I have a uh, sort of estranged, drunken uncle who was a real... Yeah, when I was a kid, it was him being part of our lives. It may meant lives were chaos. And one of the things that he would do is he'd rent movies and then just never return them on VHS. And uh, one of the movies that he rented and never returned was uh, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. And uh, when we were cleaning out his apartment after he skipped town and left my mom and I to clean out his apartment, we, uh, this is just flashbacks to my youth, but we went and cleaned it out and we found that movie. We thought, Psst, you know, they're never going to track us down, never going to track this movie down, so we might as well just enjoy it. And we brought that one home. Eventually, we added and had the full collection. My brother became a big indie fan. And there's still, like, um, sort of the movie equivalent of comfort food for me today. Uh, I love watching those movies, especially when you get a rainy day, something like that. Or, if, you know, if I just don't have internet and I have to turn to my, my DVD collection, that is one of the immediate go-tos. One of the films I love watching. Uh, if, if you are going to debate what the best indie movie is, you could make a case for uh, Raiders, for Raiders of the Lost Ark. I don't think Temple of Doom stands a chance. There's no Nazis. And when Nazis aren't the villain in a movie, you know, it's like the stakes are, are just not as high. <laughs> when you're off, like, there's a scene in Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade when he comes face to face with Adolf Hitler. The, the personification of pure evil. And uh, and that, I mean, you can't capture that movie with... Who are the bad guys in, in Temple of Doom? I can't really... It's some, some sorcerer who pulls the hearts out of people and then descends them into a pit of lava. That guy. Uh, either way, I just can't imagine there being a villain nearly as good as the Nazis. Uh, to, qu to quote uh, Indy, Nazis, I hate these guys. It's great. What am I short on? Wood. Oh, sorry. I've been collecting fiber like an idiot. I didn't realize the one thing I needed was wood. All right, we'll chop down a couple trees, and it looks like rain is falling. I know night is falling. When I logged onto the server, it was around 6 p.m., so uh, the darkness will fall upon us soon. But I'm gonna see what we can't uh, see what we can build before time runs out on us. I'd like to get the start of this foundation. Over the next few episodes of this series, we are going to be uh, building. And we're going to be building at this spot particularly. I want the biggest... Oh, look at that. How picturesque that Pteranodon just arcing up over my gate there. It's going to be cool. Um, let's see if I can build a couple more of these. I don't know if I can keep extending this. We'll see. Ideally, I want an odd number. How many do I have now? Seven? Is that right? Yes, there's seven rows too deep. I'm thinking, okay, yeah, so that's, that is gonna be the extent of it, at least at this height. Um, let's try a couple of the, the wooden ramps. I'll see if I have the, the goods to craft those, and we'll see if we can, uh, uh, where are they? We'll see if we can, uh, raise this up a little bit yeah there you are okay i need a lot more wood to make those wooden ramps what about the sloped thatch roof because that can work just as well it's just not quite as steep uh is that it no thatch roof thatch roof this one yeah i'm gonna try just two and we're gonna see how that's gonna look i guess i should probably nah here let's get these placed Let's get these placed, and before night fall, falls. All right. So what I'm thinking... Oh, that's not going to work the way I want it to work, is it? 
Now, why are you wanting to link up to that? Link up to this one over here. I guess I do need the ramp. I think I do need the ramps to do what I want to do. What if I did this? Can you click? No, this is not going to be playing along. This is not going to be doing what I want it to do. So guys, why don't I take a break? I'll see if I can do some building here as the rain falls and the sun sets on uh, this awesome cliff front property. And uh, I'll bring you back for the second half of the video. We'll add to this uh, fledgling structure. It's going to be sweet. Welcome back guys. I am a little over encumbered, not too bad. And uh, we're taking a look at uh, everything I've built. As you can tell, I've been doing some work, worked throughout the night. And um, we are really coming along with this build. Now, as I mentioned, we're going to be doing it out of thatch, uh, at least initially, because it is the cheapest and easiest. And when I have Bort, I can collect lots and lots of thatch. We'll come through here, though, and upgrade these walls and textures. What I'm thinking at the moment is stone for the foundation, stone for this first level. So it looks like it's almost part of the foundation. And then up on the next level, we'll go with wood. I think we're going to use thatch mostly on the roof, roughly the same format we used on the, the house build back that way. And I'm hoping I can... Um, you know, the more I've thought about it today, I've thought how cool it would be. I've got to get in touch with the guy who owns and runs this server and see about um, making sure it doesn't disappear like it did on me last week, or that at least I can see those coming. I really felt where has found this server, and I haven't had a chance to uh, reach out to the owner, because I would like to be able to invite some other YouTubers to play with me. I was talking in the first half of the episode about the ideal situation that would be um, oh, am I out of the resources to build these? What do I need? Yeah, the ideal situation for me would be playing Ark with a group of YouTubers who are at a similar stage in their YouTube careers as I am. You know, they, um, produce videos nearly every day, or at least several videos a week, playing similar games to me, and, uh, the channels growing like or better than mine growing that would be the ideal situation find a really cool crew of people to play with and uh one option is go and find those people where they're already playing together and the other is attempt to attract them to me and to what i'm doing here on this server uh so maybe in the coming days i will reach out to uh the guy who runs this server and i'll see about uh see about getting uh a you know, getting some contact info and potentially bringing a crew of people to play over here. I uh, already got one, and I initially, uh, when I restarted this series, I said, you know, anybody and everybody who's interested, come hit me up. Let's work on something cool together. Let's build something. And I did have a few people reach out. Nobody seemed all that serious. So, you know, maybe that's a pipe dream. It's possible that it's a pipe dream trying to find a crew of people that are looking for an ARC server instead of having their own. And maybe I need to start my own. Either way, it's it's something I'm thinking about, guys. I, uh, I, you know, I really, I think it's important for me over the next little while, the next kind of few months of growing my YouTube channel to make some connections with new people. Um, expand my audience a little by uh, meeting cool people and, you know, introducing their audience to me or introducing myself to their audience is probably a better way to phrase that. All right. Let's see how many of these we can make. Whoops. None? Okay. I'm getting there. I didn't realize I was bringing you guys back when I was encumbered and out of resources, but that happens. I just need some fiber. A, a little bit more work done. Throw up a couple more pieces on this build, and I'm going to leave the rest of it for a future episode. We've mixed in a couple... Um, random building episodes along the way where I, you know, work on smaller projects. We've also mixed in some taming episodes, uh, maybe even a little exploration. I've got all those things in my plans uh, for the weeks ahead, but I definitely want to continue working on this build. Make it huge. I want it to be epic. That is my game plan, and that is what I'm hoping for, uh, is some truly epic builds. Let's see how many of these I can make. Eight. Okay, cool. We'll bang these out, and then we'll call this an episode, because this is going to add a lot of height to this build. We're getting there. I'm building, I'm placing them as they build. I couldn't be, couldn't be going any faster. There we go. 
yeah, I think one of my, regardless of what the game is, I think I probably hadn't even heard of Ark when I started my YouTube channel. It didn't exist yet, but regardless of what the game is, I, um, I do want to get to a point where I'm spending my time with other creators, people who are like me making Let's Plays and making lots and lots of Let's Plays. Um, I, that's, that's the, that's the real dream. Find some really cool people to, uh, to work together with. And I think, uh, over the next little while, hopefully I'll be able to do that, whether it's in Ark or Minecraft and whether it's on this server or another. Guys, I know, uh, this might be a slightly shorter episode than usual. Um, but I've got big plans for this, but there was a lot of busy work to do, a lot of getting the basic walls up, starting to see a shape, and I'm starting to see it now. As you can tell, bigger and better than anything I've built in Ark before, and we are nowhere near done. i got a lot planned, and uh, I hope you guys will join me for that. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Ark Survival Evolved. I'm Unite the Clans, and I will see all y'all in the next episode. So the plan today, I have, like I mentioned, I'm dedicated to decking out the interior of our big religious building, that big hollowed out hill. I've been doing lots of work on it, but I will show you that next episode. This episode, what we're going to do is we are going to set sail for the open sea. Oh, hi, bunny. Uh, and take a look at this map. Somewhere out there, these little green dots.